In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. John Bosco, priests. Thanking God for all the blessings that we receive from Him, we come together in this highest thanksgiving that we can offer to God, the holy sacrifice of the Mass. Today we also come in order to pray, to pray especially for the things that we need in our life, to pray for our loved ones, and we include our prayer especially for those who are sick, particularly of this pandemic. So my dear friends, we now make ourselves worthy of this holy celebration. We ask God's forgiveness for all the sins that we have committed. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in, my words, in what, what I have done, and in what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, you my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who raised up the priest, St. John Bosco, as a father and teacher of the young, grant, we pray, that a fling with the same fire of love, we may seek our souls and serve you alone. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Samuel. An informant came to David with the report. The children of Israel have transferred their loyalty to Absalom. At this, David said to all his servants who were with him in Jerusalem, Up, let us take flight, or none of us will escape from Absalom. Leave quickly, lest he hurry and overtake us. Then visit disaster upon us and put the city to the sword. As David went up the Mount Olives, he wept without ceasing. His head was covered and, his, and he was walking barefoot. All those who were with him also had their heads covered and were weeping as they went. As David was approaching Bahurim, a man named Shimei, Shimei the son of Jera, of the same clan of Saul's family, was coming out of the place cursing as he came. He threw stones at David and at all the king's officers, even though all the soldiers, including the royal guard, were on David's right and on his left. Shimei was saying as he cursed, Away, away, you murderous and wicked man! 
The Lord has requited you for all the bloodshed in the family of Saul, in whose stead you became king. And the Lord has given over the kingdom to your son, Absalom. And now you suffer ruin because you are a murderer. Abishai, son of Zeruiah, said to the king, Why should this dead dog curse my lord, the king? Let me go over, please, and lop off his head. But the king replied, What business is it of mine or yours, son of Zeruiah, that he curses? Suppose the Lord has told him to curse David, who then will dare to say, What are you doing this? Then the king said to Abishai and to all his servants, If my own son who came forth from my loins is seeking my life, how much more might this Benjaminite do so? Let him alone and let him curse, for the Lord has told him to. Perhaps the Lord will look upon my affliction and make it up to me with benefits for the curses he is uttering this day. David and his men continued on the road, while Shimei kept abreast of them on the hillside, all the while cursing and throwing stones and dirt as he went. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, rise up and save me. Lord, rise up and save me. O Lord, how many are my adversaries? Many rise up against me. Many are saying of me, there is no salvation for him in God. Lord, rise up and save me. But you, O Lord, are my shield, my glory. You lift up my head. When I call out to the Lord, he answers me from his holy mountain. Lord, rise up and save me. When I lie down in sleep, I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. I fear not the myriads of people arrayed against me on every side. Lord, rise up and save me. Please stand. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples came to the other side of the sea, to the territory of, Je of Gerasenes. When he got out of the boat, at once a man from the tombs, who had an unclean spirit, met him. The man had been dwelling among the tombs, and no one could restrain him any longer, even with a chain. In fact, he had frequently been bound with shackles and chains, but the chains had been pulled apart by him and the shackles smashed, and no one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and on the hillside, he was always crying out and bruising himself with stones. Catching sight of Jesus from a distance, he ran up and prostrated himself before him, crying out in a loud voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. He had been saying to him, Unclean spirit, come out of the man. He asked him, what is your name? He replied, Legion is my name. There are many of us. And he pleaded earnestly with him not to drive them away from that territory. 
Now a large herd of swine was feeding there on the hillside, and they pleaded with him, Send us into the swine, let us enter them. And he let them, and then clean spirits came out and entered the swine. The herd of about two thousand rushed down a steep bank into the sea, where they were drowned. The swine herds ran away and reported the incident in the town and throughout the countryside. And people came out to see what had happened. As they approached Jesus, they caught sight of a man who had been possessed by legion, sitting there, clothed, and in his right hand, mind. <coughs> and they were seized with him. Those who witnessed the incident explained to them what had happened to the possessed man and to the swine. Then they began to beg him to leave their district. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed pleaded to remain with him. But Jesus would not permit him, but told them instead, Go home to your family and announce to them all that the Lord in his pity has done for you. Then the man went off and began to proclaim in the Decapolis what Jesus had done for him, and all were amazed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Normally, sa buhay natin, ayaw natin yung mga nakikialam, yung mga paka, pakialamero, pakialamera, di ba? Kaya usually, nangyayari ito sa buhay ng uh, magbiyanan. Yung mga panahon kung saan yung uh, biyanan, ay nakikialam. Yung mother-in-law, nakikialam sa kanyang uh, daughter-in-law. Kung paano magluto, kung paano maglinis ng bahay, kung paka paano pakainin ng kanyang anak. Pinapakialam lahat. Pinapakialaman lahat. Ang galaw, Uh, ng uh, biyanan o ng kanyang uh, uh, manugang uh, lahat kaya anong nangyayari away dito away doon to the extent na sabihin ng babae o oh, sige balik na lang yung anak mo <laughs> lalong lalo na kung yung anak naman ipalaban Mga kapatid, talagang mahirap yung makialam at pinapakialaman. Sa ating banghilyo, maririnig natin ang complain ng possessed man, ang complain ng demonyo sa ating Panginoon. What Have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I adjure you, by God, do not torment me. Big sabihin, bakit nakikialam ka sa amin? Huwag mo kaming pakialaman. Masaya na kami dito. Bakit makialam pa? At dito, nakikita, nakikita ng ating Panginoon. Ayon sa salaysay, sa unang bahagi, makikita natin kung paano nagsakripisyo, kung paano ang attitude, ang ginagawa nitong possessed man. Yung mga tao, hindi na 
nakikialam sa kanya, natatakot na sa kanya. At normal ito sa lugar dahil ito ay isang lugar kung saan ang mga nakatira ay mga pagano. Hindi ito Jewish territory. It is the territory of the Gerasenes. At it's sila ay mga pagano. Ngunit nakikita ng ating pa kung paano nagsakripisyo, kung paano pinahirapan ng demonyo, ng mga demonyo itong tao. Kaya tinanong niya, pati Sunay, and commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. And he answered, Legion is my name, and there are many of us. Di ba? Nakakatakot. Ngunit, nakialam dito ang ating Panginoon. Normally, dapat pabayaan lang. Katulad ng ginawa ng kanyang mga kababayan. But no. For God, God will intercede. Lalong-lalo na sa mga nahihirapan. Makialam at nakikialam ang Diyos sa mga nangangailangan. Sa mga nangangailangan. Dahil may nakita ang Diyos na kabutihan kapag wala na ang demonyo sa tao. Merong potensyal tayo na magaganda. Hindi lahat ng gawain ng tinataguriya nating masama ay masama. There is something good in each and every one of us. Merong magaganda na character, magagandang ugali, magagandang properties. At bakit? Bakit meron? Because when we return back, when God created us, God breathed unto us His Spirit. There is something in us that comes from God. And we know that everything that comes from God is good. Everything that God created is good. So sayang kung hindi pakialaman ng ating Panginoon, sayang itong tao na ito kung hindi niya pakialaman, lalong-lalo na to free the man from the demons. To free the man from the punishment of Satan. Kaya, nakialam ang Diyos. Ang mga tao, nung nalaman nila na pinalabas ng Diyos ni Di Cristo, ang mga demonyo, at hiningi ng mga demonyo na sana po doon na lang kami. Hayaan mo kami makapasok sa mga baboy. Sa mga baboy. Ayan. At ayun, hinayaan ng ating Panginoon pumasok sila sa mga baboy na kumakain just around the hill. Ilan yun? According to our gospel, there are 2,000 pigs and all of them left and were drawn. Ibig ba sabihin na there are already also 2,000 demons? Siguro there might be more than, more than. But the thing is that the counts of pigs is 2,000 and all of them drowned. Kaya nung nalaman ng 
may-ari. Nung malaman ng caregiver si to, they get out and try to see Jesus. And after all, afterwards, requested Jesus, please, pwede po, umalis ka na dito sa amin. Umalis ka na dito sa amin. Bakit? Bakit gusto nila paalisin ng ating Panginoon? Kasi, lugi sila sa negosyo nila. Patay ang lahat ng baboy. Sa buhay natin, kuminsan, ayaw natin pakialaman ang ating mga ginagawa dahil ay eh, kontra. Malulugi tayo sa ating mga negosyo, sa ating mga ginagawa. Kung pakialaman tayo ng simbahan na ituwid mo yung gawain mo, iwasto mo yung kiluhan mo. Huwag mong dayain yung mga tao. ba? Diba? Sabihin sa natin sa simbahan, ay nakialam na naman yung simbahan. Sabihin ng simbahan, bawal ang divorce. Bawal ang divorce. Kuntra naman natin ang simbahan. Nakikialam na naman sa relasyon ng mag-asawa ang simbahan. Sabihin naman ang simbahan, huwag kang pumatay. Walang abortion. Bawal ang abortion. Nakikialab na naman ang simbahan. Dahil yung iba sa atin, gusto na walang anak. Dahil hadlang yung anak sa trabaho. Marami pa na nakialaman, nakialam ang simbahan para sa kabutihan. Nakikialam lamang ang Diyos sa pamagitan ng simbahan para sa kabutihan ng tao. Kaya pagkatapos na paalis ng ating Panginoon ang demonyo sa tao, bumalik siya sa normal na buhay. May damit na siya, nakihalubilo na siya, <coughs> nakipagkwentuwa na siya, at gusto niyang Sumama sa ating Panginoon. Anong sabi ng ating Panginoon? Go home to your family and announce to them all that the Lord in His pity has done for you. Mga kapatid, ito yung pinakamagandang bahagi ng Ibanghilyo. Ito yung pinakamagandang balita na nilalaman ng ating gospel ngayong umaga. To go home. To go home and tell your relatives, your friends. Sabihin mo sa mga kasamahan nyo kung anong maganda ng ginawa ng Diyos sa iyo. Hindi na kailangan pumasok ka ng seminaryo o hindi na kailangan maging madre ka. Because even in our ordinary life, we can tell the good news. Yung nangyayari sa buhay natin. Mahari natin ikuwinto sa iba anong ginawa ng Diyos sa buhay mo. Yun ang pinakalaman. Yun ang pinakamasarap na bahagi ng buhay ng tao. Kung ang tao may maikuwinto sa kanyang kapwa kung ano ang ginawa ng Diyos sa buhay niya. Kaya pag uwi natin sa, bu- sa bahay, when we go home, anong kwento niyo? Anong eksperyensya niyo sa ating Panginoon na ba? Ari nyo ibahagi. Anong pakialam ng Diyos? Pagpapakialam ng Diyos sa buhay mo na nagresulta ng maganda. Sa mga mo, sa relasyon mo, ano?
Please stand. Gather together in Christ who conquers all evil. Let us come confidently to the Father with our prayerful intentions. For every intention we say, Most High God, protect us. Most High God, protect us. That the Holy Father, the bishops, priests, and deacons may help us to remain strong in our faith in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Most High God, protect us. That Christian believers may have the courage to speak boldly in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Most High God, protect us. That those who are hardened in sin may be touched by the Spirit of the Lord to repent and change their ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Most High God, protect us. That we may render support, especially to those who are embittered by suffering and pain. Let us pray to the Lord. Most High God, protect us. That our beloved dead may be brought safely home to the company of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Most High God, protect us. In silence we offer now our very own personal intentions and prayers. We include again those people who are positive of this COVID-19 and those people with commodities and are now suffering in hospitals or at home. Heavenly Father, we rejoice in your abundant love for us. Establish your authority within us and be our companion on the road of life. We make a prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruits of divine and work of human hands, that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be Yet God forever. Stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offering placed on your altar in commemorating of blessed John Bosco, so that as you brought him glory, you may brought these secret mysteries. Grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. John Bosco, you bid your church rejoice.
so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Archbishop, Fidelis his assistant, Gerardo Master of the Order, the religious, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep and the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with the Father Saint Dominic, Saint John Bosco, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
please them. At the severe command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. me Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I love you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the called to the supper. Of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, word and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed.
please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for others, for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast, day of blessed John Bosco, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much for your presence and your, for your active participation and cooperation during this Mass. Let us continue praying for one another. We still need prayers at this time. Pandemic is, is not yet over. So please remember also in your prayers our frontliners here in the Minor Basilica, our sacristan, our altar servers our lector and commentator, our Eucharistic ministers and ushers. Please include also our security guards and uh, uh, workers, employees, and also our radio staff and our singer, Rusty. So thank you very much, and please continue to keep safe, be safe. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We will now pray for the sick brothers and sisters of ours. Kindly remember the names of your loved ones who are sick. And let us pray for them. We will also bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. To our kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For your religious articles, in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we all the rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.